I approached my good friend Rebecca Dunn um, about where silence falls. Originally just a concept, I wanted to be able to enter something into the Drama Fest, use it as really an exercise for Trinity River, the feature, for an opportunity for the crew to be able to get together and see how everybody gelled for the two-day process uh, before we went 18 days straight with each other and above and beyond that then have something, you know, a really strong product come out of it. So for the Drama Fest entry, we, we only had six minutes or less for a short film and we had to come up with something that people could relate to immediately, uh, would be very interested in, and something we wouldn't have to have a lot of backstory to that we could just dive straight into because time was of the essence. Uh, so we came up with a married couple that have a son that goes missing. And it's something that I think is a great fear of a lot of parents. Uh, anytime a parent has lost a child in a department store or at a park or something, there's that, that moment where your life just flashes before your eyes, your worst fears come uh, smashing into your brain, and at all costs you want to find your child. At all costs. Where Silence Falls is going to be an extremely powerful short film that will leave the viewers asking questions at the end about themselves, about the characters that they just watched in the film, and it's going to make them think. Uh, it's going to have a very powerful message to the film as far as jumping to conclusions, assumptions about those that you don't know as well as you thought you did, and revelations about yourself. All of the actual camera gear came from Ryan Walters and his company 235 Studios. We shot the film in 1080 24p, which is essentially geek talk for saying high definition, on his HVX 200. We also shot the film with Red Rock Micro M2, which is a 35mm adapter. Now Dan Ayers brought, together, uh, brought to the table a wonderful piece of equipment, which was his Steadicam Pro setup that he's customized over the years. Now Dan has got over 20 years of experience as a Steadicam operator in Los Angeles and across the country. I think every single person that was on our crew and cast at some point picked up the camera and caught some behind the scenes footage. So we had this roving community camera, which was my DVX-100A. In fact, even Rebecca Dunn's husband and son, David and Pierce, had gotten to pick up the camera when they came by to visit set and grab some footage, which you'll see included here as well. Rebecca Dunn with uh, her performance in Where Silence Falls, she was breathtakingly phenomenal. She did a great, great job, really delivered the emotions, the energy, everything we were looking for. Reed Phillips, who's been a friend of mine for over 28 years now, I've known since first grade, also really stepped up to the plate, um, has yet to fail me in any of the films that he's been in, and throws himself, sometimes literally throws himself into the role, depending if there's stunts involved or not, and holds nothing back, and, and just did a wonderful, wonderful job in the film. Where Silence Falls was an exceptional exercise as a warm-up for Trinity River, as a complete success. All of our cast and crew got along seamlessly. Uh, it was wonderful. Uh, at the end, everybody was thanking each other for being able to work for free over the weekend, but to be able to have ownership in this film. When I make a film, I want every single person to be intimately involved with the creative process. I see it as a very collaborative, very community effort in the making of, of a film. It's not just the director's film, it's everybody that is involved should have some kind of creative input because everybody always has something of value to add. Case in point, this weekend, a lot of people had some wonderful ideas, whether it be Rebecca or Reed, uh, the talent or the director of photography, or the first AC, both Dan and Ryan, or the gaffer Steve, or the art director James, and the list goes on. There's Everybody had something to contribute to the film. I think when you watch Where Silence Falls, you're going to see truly a community effort. It's not one person's vision. It's not just Rebecca and my story uh, or a script. It's going to be a wonderful work of art that everybody had a contribution to the film and made a very definite impact on the film and really on my life just by being able to experience this with them.
And I'm extremely excited to be able to see this finished product for Where Silence Falls, the very successful exercise for Trinity River, the feature that we'll be making soon. I'm Norm Sanders, director and producer for Where Silence Falls and the upcoming feature Trinity River. We hope you enjoy the show. Bill, our neighbor? <laughs> I think we I have power to the camera.